This is the Iron Trader. It is Sunday night. Now, the futures open here at 6 o'clock. That was about 25 minutes ago. So, as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas to get you set up there for Monday. Now, a um, little bit off topic here. I don't know how many of you uh, people out there snow ski, uh, but over here where I am, do we have like 45 ski resorts in the state that I am, and probably around a dozen around where I live. And today was like uh, the last day, and all those ski resorts are all closed down for the season, and golf is uh, getting all ready to go here pretty soon here. Now, that being said, I just want to hear at the end of the video, put in a little bit tribute there to anybody out there who does snow skiing. All right, let's get going. This video is for information purposes only. Not recognition to buy, sell any stock, come on to ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Okay, here we go, right here. Now, Friday, what we had is we had a topping tail with a red candle. Now, this ran up here very, very nicely, especially on this day. Uh, this was that Thursday. It rallied right up high because the CIA came out and said that, you know, they warned Israel that Iran was going to attack within 48 hours. So, so far, that hasn't really taken place. So Friday, we made a little bit higher high, but it is in sensor candle, and it put a little topping formation there, okay? So now what we have is we have a lower low, so we have to see where this is going to shake out at now. So what we want to watch here for support levels is we want to watch the top of this candle. So you're looking at 85.50, and right below this, we have uh, 84.96. This is going to be very, very key level. If that obviously is lost, we'll come over here to the top of this candle, 84.49. We'll look to the bottom here, we look at 83.85, and then we'll look to the top of this candle, 83.21, and then the top of this candle here at 83.12, and then we have that nice 21 day at sitting at uh, uh, 82.21 just below it, okay? So this, everything is still very, very bullish. Everything is very much intact here. It just, uh, that's how oil goes. When you get the news, it pops up, you know, comes down. That's why I just love trading crude oil because it's always in play, same way with natural gas, okay? Now, on here on the upside, well, what we want to watch is we want to, uh, uh, today's high so far was 86.26. Uh, uh, so what we do is right there, 86.20, you're pretty much right there. Now, the next level we want to look at is the bottom of the candle. That's 86.32, and then we'll look to the top here, looking at 87.22, and then we have 87.63, which was Friday's high. Now, that lined up here pretty nice here. When we go across, we had 87.75. Uh, so that would be the next level if you can go uh, above that. And then we'll have right there at 88.33, uh, we have 88.57. We'll work our way up, 89.54. Uh, and then this is the candle looking for here, 89.85. Let's just call that 90 bucks, okay? But again, it all has to be based on if you can close above this key 8763. Uh, but that was a pretty nice target here when we look at the candle on the left, 8775. That was a very, very nice target. It came very, very close there, what do you say, within 12 cents, okay? So they always look to the left of the chart. That is exactly where she usually is going to go, okay? So again, uh, big picture here, if you break this 90 area, this is the candle we want to look for. This is at 9243. And then you can work yourself all the way up here to this 9503. Uh, but again, it's all going to be based on if we can get above. Now, we had a pretty good run here off of this bottoming tail. Look at there. One, two, three, four, five. You had six really good days. And actually, Friday, seven good days. So you had a really good trading up here. Now, a little pullback is not going to hurt. It's still very, very bullish. This eight day is looking very, very nice as curling right back up. Your 21 day is uh, uh, up nicely. Your uh, 50 day here now crossed above your 200 SMA here. So again, we're looking very, very bullish. 79.11 uh, on your 200 SMA and 79.21, very, very bullish when that 50 crosses over that 200 SMA. So any pullback here is a buying opportunity here. The key levels to watch is this eight SMA here. If that is lost, then realistically watch the top, that 83.21, this 83.12, and then your 82.21 here. These will be your big time levels because this is your breakout, comes right across. Now we can always watch this bottomy tail here also. They always watch uh, 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 your 
when you have extreme moves like this, okay, we look like we're just going to go right on down, and then she moved right up on that news. So always watch that bottom. That's at 84.64. So if that's coming there just below that 84.96, you could put a possible double bottom, and that'd be a nice good rally back on up here. RSI here. Well, you got to a little bit overbought condition, but that doesn't really mean anything here. You're just showing that how much relative strength that you do have here. Your green is above your red here on your MACD. Very, very bullish. So let's just see how she opens up here on Monday because the bottom could be in. This could rally right on up here. We just have to see. But coming into the seasonality time of the year here, um, very, very bullish. And a lot of stuff going on here in the Middle East here. So never say, oh, I'm going to go short on this thing here. To me, I would just wait. And this would be a buying opportunity for long on any kind of a pullback. Okay, let's take a look here on a uh, weekly and a monthly. Okay, let's take a look here on your weekly chart here. Now, your uh, MACD looking very green, uh, very green, uh, very bullish. Your green is above your red. That shows good momentum to the upside. Your RSI here flipping over a little bit because of this candle. Uh, but realistically, see, we got outside that uh, uh, price channel here with the candle. But we're holding this key. Uh, a simple moving average. Now, again, if this comes all the way down here and holds this 100 days, may still very, very bullish. Okay, look at your eight day. Your eight day is moving up here. If we get any kind of upside, this eight day will eventually cross this this 100 day, probably this week. But you're above the 21 day, the 50 day. Very, very bullish. You're looking to see how nice that held the whole way. Okay, very, very nice. So, what we want to watch is last week's candle. That's going to be very, very key. So the high was 87.63, okay, and your low was uh, 82.60, okay? So always watch that high and that low. Uh, that's for the week now, okay? So again, if we get above, above that 87.63 here, then it would just come right over here. This is your 87.83. We have uh, 88.29, and then there's that candle we're looking for, that 89.85, call it 90 bucks. Above that, right here, 91.23, we have uh, 91.88, uh, 92.43, and then that's the big boy right here, 95.03, call that 95 bucks. So right here, let's look, bring across here, very, very nice. Look at the 90 area, then look at the 95 area. Those will be your targets here, as long as we can break above this key level here, this 87.63. Now here on your monthly chart, which we have plenty of time to, to, to move here, there. today's only the 7th. This is looking very, very bullish here. We're obviously above that 8 SMA, obviously above the 21 SMA here. So this is looking very, very bullish. Uh, again, uh, and you have a really nice W pattern going on here where it came down, went up, came down, and now she wants to rally on up here. So, uh, you know, any kind of a pullback, still my opinion, is just a buying opportunity. RSI looking very, very good here. Look at your MACD. Looks like it's about to cross here on your, week, on your monthly time frame. If you do, that's very, very bullish, and we have some big targets coming up here on the upside. Look at there. There's that 95, which we're eventually what we're looking for. Okay, let's take a look here at old natural gas. Okay, here we have natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, if we look at this, what do we have here? So far, we have a, a, a red day. You're down uh, two cents. It's in there 1.763, but we're holding this key level here, 1.743. That is going to be very, very critical. Okay, so let's look at the downside first. So we want to watch that 1.743, and then we want to watch, um, uh, what are we at here? Oh, yeah, then we want to watch this 8 SMA here at 1.73. Okay, so those are your two critical levels here. So see how we had the three red? Then we had the two green, higher high. But just because it's red, that doesn't mean that's going to, this is a weekly, doesn't mean it's going to be, you know, go down. So this is what we're looking for by next Friday. We want to close above that 1.731, very, very critical. But on Monday, watch this key 21 SMA, very, very key. Again, if that's lost here, and this eight SMA is lost, then we just follow the, uh, the candles down. You've got 1.70, we have 1.8686, uh, there's your gap, and then 1.67, there's your fill, and then right here, all these candles here, this is like 1.64 level, and then right below, we have 1.589. Again, this pattern isn't looking too bad. You just have everything jammed up here with these simple moving averages. Now, I pointed out how like this, how this 50-day is a brick wall, okay? And obviously, you can see that it is. So we had three nice green days, uh, went right up into it, couldn't do it. Now, this day, it popped up over it, but again, you have to close above it. And then we had uh, a red candle, and then Friday, we had a, a indecision green candle, and then so far, we have a red candle. But right now here, 
your uh, 50 day, as that is coming down, that is going to be strong resistance. So here's what we want to watch on the upside. Watch that 8 SMA, 1.79. And then we have your uh, 50 day right above that at 1.823. Again, if we can get above that, then what we'll do is we'll come right up here to this candle. You're looking at uh, uh, 1.85. And then what we have is you have 1.88. And then this is the candle that you'd be looking for. This is that 1.906, which is the retest. See your price channel here now? Now you're flagging that candle. Again, above that, here we go. We have 1.955, 1.98. But this is the candle you're looking for is that 2.0, which is basically this candle right here, okay? 2.0. That's what we want to look for. And then we can move higher. Now, again, if you can break on all above that, well, there's a lot of good targets here, okay? So uh, uh, first target, obviously, that you want to look at for is you want to look at the top of this candle. This is that 2.168, okay? And then we have your 21 day here sitting at right there, 2.22, and then we have 2.27, and then we have your gap fill at 2.42, and then we have your, your uh, 200 day. So we got to be a little patient with this. I know a lot of times if you're long, you say, oh, geez, I don't, you know, this isn't going to work it out of way. But watch these key simple moving averages. I'm telling you, the 50 day is just like a brick wall. You're not going to get through there the first time, okay? So you tried the nothing. Tried nothing. Now you got through it, but where did it close? Below it. Once you close below it again, then you have that topping tail, and now we're right there below it. So the key is you have uh, what you want to watch is right here. Watch this 21 day on the downside, 1.743. Watch this 8 day on the downside, 1.73. Those are your critical levels. Upside right here is 8 day, 1.79, and that 50 day at 1.82. If you can break above, your target is going to be 1.90, which is the top of that candle. Now, <clears throat> here, RSI is looking good. Your MACD is green over red looking good. Looks like here that you, you want some move red on up here, but we got to see how this is all going to shake out. By next Friday, right there, you have to close above that 1.73, and that keeps it all intact here for a, for a bullish trend. Okay, so that's what I got for you on crude and natural gas. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Um, you know, before uh, 8 o'clock, and we'll do it all over again. And right now, i got a little tribute to everybody out there who snow skis.